This is John, an average guy with a regular job. He starts his day by waking up to an alarm at 6 am. Then he hits the snooze button 5 times before finally getting up at 6.30 am. And now he is already late from work and doesn't have any time for breakfast, so he just grabs a coffee on his way to work. He doesn't have any plan for his day, so it takes him an hour to get organized. He is also hungry because he didn't eat anything for breakfast, so he rushes to a fast food restaurant. Soon he notices that it is already 2 pm and there is no way that he is going to get his work done in time, the deadlines are not waiting. So it looks like another late night is coming, he won't be able to watch his favorite series on Netflix or play that newly released video game. He can't attend his daughter's dance show in time, but he tries his best to make it for the ending. He has no freedom because he wastes his days in chaos, not under control. Does that sound familiar? We all do this even though we all know that it's not probably the smartest thing to do. By the end of this video you will learn how you can take better care of your time and have the perfect day every day. Welcome to the book summary of the book The Perfect Day Formula by Craig Ballantyne. The book is based on the philosophy called Stoicism which focuses on leading a good, moral and productive life. Worrying, being anxious and wasting energy on things that aren't in our control bring us no value, but we can choose how to act and how to spend our days. You have a lot more control over your life and happiness than you might think. Structure equals freedom. The first thing you should know is that more structure in life, created by having a set of rules, will allow you to achieve your goals and dreams. While it might seem completely opposite, having a set of rules will actually give you freedom. The best part about these rules is that they won't require you to work harder than you are currently working, it is actually the opposite. You will get more done in less time, which gives you more free time to do the things that really matter to you. The perfect day formula is built on three C's. Control, concur and concentrate. You have to learn to control what you can and cope with what you can't control. You have to concur the chaos in your life. You have to learn to concentrate on what really matters to you. By applying all three of these to your day, you can have a perfect day. You need to control your mornings, concur the chaotic afternoons and concentrate on what matters in the evenings. By doing this, you will notice more productivity and less stress. But how can you do these things? Let's take a look at part 1, control the morning. If you have read any other self-help books, you will probably already know that habits are very powerful. If we have the right routines, we will make the right actions automatically. Because of this, we must harness the right habits and use them to control our mornings. There are 7 steps to build habits of steel, which are Do the first thing first, do what really matters to you. Creating rules will help you avoid disappointment, guilt and regret of wasted days. Make a checklist before going to bed that you can easily follow for success. Get rid of temptations and bad habits as often as you can. Don't buy that amazing phone charger from Amazon to your work desk, instead forget to load your phone so you can get more work done. While procrastination is tempting, you must avoid it. Action is the simplest way to do so. It's not easy to make new habits stick, but when you face difficulties, you should learn from them. Most people can accomplish 3 times as much work when they do it in the morning. Also, starting your day with a victory puts you in a positive mood for the rest of the day. To help with this, you should create rules that help you achieve your goals and dreams. Make sure your rules align with your goals and dreams, for example, if you want to be smarter, make a rule that you will read one book a week. The most important rules you need are the big three. 1. State when you have to go to the bed and when you have to wake up every day. 2. Write down the number one action you will take each morning. And 3. Create a simple health plan, should you meditate, exercise, eat better or perhaps sleep more. You should also use the to-do list and most important you have to properly construct it the night before. Don't write down more than you can do, because when you are not able to do all those things, it will just frustrate you more and soon you won't use the to-do list at all anymore. The best to-do list sticks to a handful of very specific, actionable and non-conflicting items. Schedule your tasks and schedule your number one priority first. Do it the first thing in the morning and you will own your day. You should also use a not-to-do list. Be clear about what you will not do each day. If you know that you have some specific challenges, like playing video games too much, add them to this list and do your best to follow through with it. The 10 3 2 1 0 good night formula. This formula helps you to get to bed on time, sleep better and wake up in the morning well rested. So what does the formula mean? You should stop using coffee in 10 hours before going to bed to eliminate its stimulatory effects. 
Don't eat or drink alcohol 3 hours before sleeping to avoid heartburn and interrupted sleep. Stop doing all the work related stuff 2 hours before bed. Don't even check your email. In fact, don't even think about tomorrow. Turn off all the electronics 1 hour before bed. Spend the last hour doing things like reading, meditating or taking a bath. The last number 0 is the number of times you will hit the snooze button in the morning. There are many ways how you can avoid hitting the snooze button, for example, leave your alarm across the room. Part 2. Conquer the afternoon. There are 5 pillars of success that will guide you to achieve your number 1 priority in life. You will need all 5 of them to succeed, but let's start with the first pillar, planning and preparation. Have you ever heard about the concept of miss en place? It translates into everything in its place. What this basically means is that you have to plan and prepare your workplace to be as effective as possible. Plan ahead what you are going to do and remove all the temptations. If you know that you want to watch television, don't work in the same room with a television. The second pillar, professional accountability or the power of a pro. The author says that the smartest business decision he has ever made was hiring his first business coach. The biggest mistake he has ever made is that it took him so long to do it. We all need a coach. If you think about athletes like Tiger Woods and Wayne Gretzky, they all have a coach. But also non-athletes have mentors. Mark Zuckerberg has one, Warren Buffett has one, Steve Jobs had one. Coaches are great because in addition to mentoring us, they will hold us accountable. You should also think about becoming a mentor if you can. This will help you understand the importance of what you are teaching and you will also learn more from it. The third pillar social support or how to harness the power of the other people. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. You might have heard that quote somewhere and it is basically the meaning of this third pillar. You should create networks filled with supportive and positive people. You should surround yourself with people who inspire you, make you better and people who you respect. Remove negative, stressful and poisonous attitudes from your life. The fourth pillar, an incentive or treat yourself to big victories. We want it all and we want it now. When we get paid, we spend our paychecks as soon as we can. Or even before. When we want to watch a new Netflix series, we immediately binge watch it for 10 hours. Because of this, you should build a habit of delaying gratification. While it might be difficult, it's well worth it. Studies show that people who can delay gratification are more dependable and have better success in life. Do the work first, then reward yourself, not the other way around. The fifth pillar, the big deadline or the most important pillar of them all. I had a deadline for my bachelor's thesis a couple of days ago. I had more than 10 weeks to write it, yet I did everything in the last two weeks. And I even had to stay up all night the night before the deadline to make sure that I get it done. But what we all have is a natural big deadline in our lives and understanding that we are all running out of time should be enough to inspire us to take action today. You have to learn to harness the power of the big deadlines in your life. The deadline gets us to take action and motivates us to push towards our goals. It keeps us going through tough times. You should set deadlines in your normal work days too. For example, make a deadline that you will finish working by 6 pm no matter what. Or make deadlines for specific tasks. I won't answer to these emails for longer than 15 minutes. Also, set a deadline for your goals too. It will push you to take more action. If you have all of these pillars in place, then congratulations! You have everything set up to achieve your number one priority in life and you are able to conquer the chaos of the afternoon. Part 3. Concentrate on what counts. After creating rules for your life and implementing the five pillars of success, you need to create a vision for your life. As mentioned in the book, think and grow rich, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So have a clear vision about what exactly matters to you and concentrate on that. Every day, take action that takes you closer to your big goals and dreams. If you feel like you aren't where you want to be in life, you don't have a clear vision. And because of this, you might be working hard, but for wrong things. So, have a clear vision to stay focused on the right things, avoid temptations, and move forward with your big goals and dreams. But how can you know what is the most important thing to you? You should spend an hour or two writing your vision as if you were living in the future. Identify what you really want. How do you measure success? What does your family look like? What does your career look like? Think about questions like these and write everything down. Then, after you have finished your first draft, share it with those that can help you achieve it 
meaning people like your spouse, mentors or anyone that can support you and give meaningful feedback. Now it is time to rewrite the final version of your vision. After you have finished rewriting your vision, it is time to set goals. If you set too many goals, you end up without any priorities at all. Because of this, you should only set 4 goals at a time, one for your health, wealth, social self and personal enrichment. After you have created these 4 big goals, you should make smaller goals within each one of the big goals. For example, your big wealth goal could be something like making $200,000 a year. But having a goal like this doesn't really provide any value, instead you should make process goals to support it. These support goals could be something like, I will make one sale a day, I will invest $1000 a month to receive passive income in the future, I will start a side hustle that generates me $1000 a month. Whichever goals you set, make sure that they are specific and help you achieve your vision. Share these goals with positive, supportive people. If you don't have any of those yet, you can find them in online communities. One great example is this video's comment section. Leave your goals down there and I'll make sure to check them out. Sharing your goals with the right people is great because they will hold you accountable. And in turn, you don't want to let them down, so you have to take action towards your goals. And remember, never ever give up on what is important to you. That is the book The Perfect Day Formula by Craig Palantine summarized. Let's take a quick look at the main points. Structure equals freedom. While it might seem completely opposite, having a set of rules actually gives you freedom. The perfect day formula is built on three C's, control, concur and concentrate. You have to control the morning by creating powerful habits. Make rules that align with your goals and dreams. You should also use a to-do list and not to-do list. And sleep well by using the 10 3 2 1 0 good night formula. You can conquer the afternoon with five pillars. These five pillars were planning and preparation, professional accountability, social support, an incentive and the big deadline. The last part was to concentrate on what counts. You should spend an hour or two to write down what your future looks like to have a clear vision. Then you should make four big goals for wealth, health, social self and personal enrichment and smaller process goals to help you achieve these four big goals. Thank you for watching the book summary of the book, The Perfect Day Formula by Craig Palantine. Make sure to share your goals in the comments and if you have any book suggestions, let me know. Leave a like and subscribe for more weekly videos in the future. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.